Hey guys, so it is December 1st, which is the first day of Vlogmas, and I am sitting in my car right now, um, getting ready to leave the house. It is about quarter to ten, which, if you guys don't know, I do a lot of my work from home, so I did quite a bit this morning, and now I'm going into the office to kind of handle some stuff there. Um, Matt is joining me at the office. He, um, if you can see in my back seat, I bought a new TV for the office, or I didn't buy it. The company bought a new TV for the office so he's gonna come in and help me set it up just so that I can get other things done while that's working and I'm not wasting my day doing that so I first have to stop at the grocery store and pick up some cupcakes for one of the girls at work it's her birthday and we do cupcakes and like a gift card and that kind of thing before um, for everybody's birthdays so I need to go do that and I will take you guys with me okay so it is a little after one and I'm out of work for the day I'm gonna obviously go home and do some more stuff at home but um, as far as being in the office, I'm done. I have to run a few errands for work, um, nothing major. And then I have to um, grocery shop, which I'm sitting back in the Grover parking lot where I left you guys last. So I'm gonna go in and do my grocery shopping. If it's not too crazy, I will do a little bit of filming, but we shall see. Okay, so I've gotten most of my um, groceries put away and then I went ahead and pre-portioned out all of our meat. Um, so I took the two packages of chicken breasts and I put them into freezer bags, um, two breasts per bag, so we get three meals out of that. And then with the thighs, I ended up packaging them two thighs to a bag. Um, I normally will probably cook more than one bag, I'll probably cook two at a time, but they fit into my freezer better and the smaller freezer bags. So we have five bags of those. And then since this stuff is stuff that we're eating this week, I'm not super worried about um, like packaging this really good. If it was going to stay in my freezer for any period of time at all, I would wrap this up or put it in a freezer bag. But I'm not really concerned about it because we're probably going to be eating it in the next day or two. And then same with the pork loin. This is freezer, or I'm sorry, this is vacuum sealed. So I'm perfectly fine with that. So I'm going to get this stuff into my freezer, which is the biggest mess. My freezer never looks like this, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get all this stuff in here. Usually all our meat goes into this bottom little tray down there. And then all I have to do is clean up my mess. These are all our bags and stuff. And there's a little bit of stuff that I threw upstairs. And that's it. Alright guys. I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it is um, about quarter to four and I am just sat down and I'm watching a few YouTube videos and just kind of relaxing, catching up on emails for work and just YouTube videos, that kind of thing. Or YouTube videos, YouTube um, comments and that kind of thing. Um, Matt is on a conference call for work upstairs and I'm just hanging out. Um, yeah, I got all of my groceries put away for the most part. There's a few things that I need to bring downstairs that I just didn't grab. But I'm watching right now, let's see if it'll focus. I'm watching Die from Being Mommy of Style. Um, she's also doing Vlogmas, so it's kind of fun to see what she's been doing in her day when I'm kind of filming the same thing. So yeah. Hope you guys have a... All right guys, so it is just before 5.15 and I'm getting ready to make dinner. I need to go out and plug in our Christmas lights first. Oh, it's cold. Um, we don't have a timer on them, so I'm just gonna plug them in. dinner tonight we are trying a new recipe I have some pancetta left over or another package of pancetta left over from Thanksgiving and there's a recipe on the back of the lid for spaghetti carbonara not that that's gonna focus but that's what we're gonna make tonight so 
I need to get all of my ingredients out. Um, what does it say? Okay, so first we need to get a pan to make pasta in. So I'm gonna fill that and grab our pasta out of the cupboard. Oops. This is not gonna be like any of my other cooking videos. This is off the cuff. And I'm gonna drop that packet like five times. My cooking videos are usually quite planned out. Okay, so we have our dry pasta out. My pot is full. Stove. I'm gonna add some salt and get that going. Okay, and then I have the water going. So okay. So in my other pan, I'm gonna get this going over like medium heat. My medium low is more like medium, and then. We're gonna put just a little bit of olive oil in it. Okay, so I have my pancetta cooking away. It just says to brown it. So we're getting there. My water's still not boiling for my pasta, so that needs to hurry up. Um, over here, I took the frozen peas and I just put them in a little bit of water so that they thaw. Um, and then I'm gonna run them through a strainer real quick in just a second. And then over here, this is the egg and cheese mixture that thickens the sauce, apparently. And then while that's all going, that's my finger, um, I made a quick salad, which is, um, I used this artisan lettuce blend that I showed in my latest grocery haul. If you have not already seen that, that is up on my channel. Um, a little bit of red onion, cucumber, and a little bit of the Parmesan cheese. And then I'm going to toss that all in a second. Toss all of that with a little bit of this dressing. This is the garlic expressions um, vinaigrette. This stuff is so good. It makes an amazing marinade. Salad dressing is just it's so good. I can literally drink it. So I'm going to toss it with a little bit of that and call it good. So I just need to get my um, pasta water finished boiling. some garlic into this. Okay, so I have the pasta into this pot with the pancetta and garlic now. And I said to let it like kind of marry together for two minutes and then add the cheese mixture. So I've done that. And here's my cheese mixture. And my peas. I might as well grab those over my more here. And it says to add this mixture in. So let's see if I can do this one-handed. No idea if you guys could see that, but I'm just stirring everything together now. I said to do it off of the heat. Okay, so it's all mixed together. I did end up using quite a bit of the starch water to thin the sauce out because it was extremely thin and gooey, which it's still, or thick and gooey, I should say, and it still is kind of that way. And then you add it in the entire thing of peas. I just um, mixed it really well and kind of let it cook just to make sure that the egg is cooked in there. Since you were throwing a raw egg in it, I just need to make sure that it's done. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It smells really good. I have no idea how it's gonna come out, how it's gonna taste. But I will let you guys know. I'm gonna plate this up and get eating. All right guys, so we just finished eating. We have quite a lot of leftovers. Um, I will say it wasn't terrible, but it's it was a little bland in my opinion. It needs 
some it needs some extras um i put more garlic in it than it said to but that still wasn't enough so i don't know let me know what you guys would put in it to kind of zest it up i think the peas were the best part matt picked most of his out so <laughs> i guess it goes by how much you like peas or not i have a lot of dishes to get done so I'm going to get my kitchen cleaned up, and I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to get my kitchen cleaned up. Alrighty, so the kitchen is all cleaned up. Well, it's clean as it's going to get tonight. These snacks and stuff all have to go downstairs still, but I'll get to it. I have my knives drying. And yeah, I have a few ornament sensors that need to be hung on the tree down there, so I'm going to do that real quick. And then I'm probably gonna relax for a little bit. Um, just about 6.30. So yeah, that's what we're up to. All right guys, so it is about 7.30. Um, we got the rest of the ornaments on the tree. Um, I uploaded my grocery haul and Matt has been playing some Xbox. I'm going to make some popcorn and then I think we're just gonna watch a movie and call it a night and upload um, at night so that you guys are seeing at night what I've done all day so yeah hopefully that works but yeah we need to take some popcorn um we don't do so or microwave popcorn we do stove top popcorn I don't like microwave popcorn so yeah I just make that in pot and that's that I will see you guys tomorrow